The control interface for the DP4 is quite simple and very intuitive. All the navigation through the menu system can be done quickly with the ease of one hand. There are four buttons on your monitor. You have an on-off switch, a scroll wheel, and two programmable function buttons. Let's take a look at these buttons. First, we will look at the power button. On the DP4, the power button is on the top left side if you are looking at the screen. It is a push button switch and the on and off position actually changes depending on the power source you are using. If you are powering the DP4 with a battery plate, then the switch is on when it is flush with the monitor's body. If you are powering with the AC power, then when the switch is in the higher position, it is turned on. The next button we will look at is the scroll wheel. This is a multifaceted button in that it is both a wheel that will allow you to scroll left and right, but is also a pushable button that can be used to select options within the menu. The button immediately next to the scroll wheel is used as the back button, as well as a programmable user button that allows you to program one of the many great features on the DP4. When used as the back button, it allows you to back out of any of the menus you have dug yourself into. The farthest button to the right is a second user programmable button. We will show you how to program your user programmable buttons in a moment. Now let's talk about the basic navigation of your monitor. When no other menus are open on your monitor screen, clicking down on the scroll wheel one time will open the main menu. Once the main menu is open, you can scroll left and right to highlight the main menu item you want to adjust. Once the category is highlighted, click the scroll wheel once to select a subcategory in the column. Let's look at an example. Say you want to change the scale setting on the monitor. What you will want to do is click your scroll wheel once to pull up your menu. Then scroll right to highlight the advanced tab. Now click your scroll wheel once to enter the subcategories under advanced. Let's say we want to change the scale settings. Now scroll left and right using your scroll wheel until your desired scale setting is highlighted in green. Once it is, click the scroll wheel again to choose that setting. Now click the back button closest to the scroll wheel a few times to exit the menus. You can use these basic navigation steps to select and adjust all of your main menu and sub menu settings. Now let's talk about the programmable buttons on your DP4. Out of the box, your two custom function buttons are pre-assigned to Focus Assist Plus and False Color. These buttons can be programmed to quick select any one of the monitor's main functions. Let's start with this programmable button right next to the scroll wheel. When no menus are present on your monitor, click and hold this button down for about three seconds. When you release it, you will see a new menu pop up. This will list all of the functions you can program this button to control with one click. Scroll down to the one you would like quick access to with your click wheel and highlight it in green. Once it is highlighted, click the scroll wheel one time and then click that same button again, which is also your back button to exit this menu. Now when you see that programmable button, it will immediately enable or disable the function you have assigned to it. You can use these same steps to adjust your second custom function button. Finally, we are going to show you how to activate and set your customizable presets. When no menu is present on your DP4, scroll your scroll wheel to the right without clicking down on it, and you will see a new menu pop up. In this menu, you have nine presets you can program, as well as three pre-made presets. After making adjustments to the monitor while in any of the nine customizable presets, the settings are automatically saved to the preset you currently have selected. Let's say we want preset 3 to be a 16-9 scale and preset 4 to have 235-1 scale. We're going to select preset 3 now. After you've selected it, by pressing on the scroll wheel, hit the back button to get back to your blank screen. Now we will turn on the menu and enable the 16-9 scale. Now I can change my preset to preset 4 and enable 235-1 scale. Now simply by going back to preset 3, we can see that the 16-9 scale we turned on is still on and in that preset while in preset 4, 235-1 has remained activated. You can enable all types of options and functions in presets to help make your workflow quick and productive. You'll also notice that the Nikon and Canon DSLR scale modes come loaded in the preset menu at the bottom. 
These presets are designed to give you a full screen image with the less than standard output resolutions of some of the more common Canon and Nikon DSLR cameras. This makes it quick and easy to get the most out of your DP4.